Hollywood. Here's the game where knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's your host, Brandon Scruggs. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into another edition of the Joker's Wild right here at MBG Productions. Glad you could join us here once again. On our last show, we saw an interim champion crowned. He is back with us today to take on our current reigning champion and a big champion's battle. With that said, let us meet our contestants for today's first game. Our challenger comes to us from the great state of Ohio. He's so far won in cash, all cash total of $24,000. Meet Kevin Henry and his opponent. From New Orleans, Louisiana, our current reigning champion with cash and prizes totaling $103,636, meet Jason Myers. This is going to be a very exciting matchup, my friend. Welcome in, guys. How are we doing today? Good, 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 Scruggsy. Glad to have you both here. Kevin, we welcomed him back on our last episode, one of our finalists from a previous season on the Joker's Wild here. All cash total yesterday, $24,000 so far. Fortunately, Lucy kind of stopped your winnings on that um, last bonus round there. You think you can make up for it today and become our grand champion? Well, considering I'm going up against the uh, ever so until – intelligent Jason Myers. I will have to defer to the most uh, intelligent of words of the great Ben Stein. I shall do my best. I see. Well, best of luck to you. And champion, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I wasn't able to be with us our last episode. Back here again, though, over $103,000. And get. You've, I said you do great the front game. It's just that back half that has been beating, <laughs> kicking your Lucy backside this whole has front. Kick my ass every single time, except for one. One time I managed to beat Lucy. Other than that, Lucy's had my fucking number. I'm getting sick of this shit. I know. I would say definitely the frustration is building, but hopefully you will get another chance to take take him down, but you've got a good opponent here, so we're going to see who's going to be our grand champion yes, at the end of this one. I remember what Kevin did last season. Uh, got my work cut out for me. It's going to be a good one. It will be, it's, so... That's right. Work for a cause, not for applause. Right. Don't to express, not to impress. Don't strive to make your presence noticed. Just make your absence felt. Yes. Yeah, true words have never been said on the show. But good luck to both of you, and let's jump into this game of the Joker's Wild. Uh, you guys know how this works. Uh, first person to $5,000 in proper turn wins the game and goes on to the bonus round for a shot to take down Lucy the Devil. And with that said, we're just going to jump right into it and take a look at the categories we've got in this first game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. We have the arts, places, sports and hobbies, Geek Chic, Television, and finally, we finish with Next Line, Please. Now, Next Line, Please is our music category. I will give you an artist and song and a, f and a line from that song. All you have to do is give me the next line in, uh, that comes in that order, and you will get the cr uh, money for that category, okay? So with that said, let's unlock the reels for our players. Our Jason is our overall grand champion, so he will, of course, have the advantage in this one. So that means, Kevin, you'll be playing in the challenger seat, and you'll be spinning first. Just go ahead and keep that seat warm there for me, Jason. Thank you very, very much. All right, here we go. Joker. First spin of the day. Joker, Yarks, and next line, please. I will try next line, please, for one rack. All right. So next line, please, for $1,000. Here we come. Here comes your first question of the day here on Joker's Wild under next line, please. Sir, uh, the song we're talking about is Crazy by Gnarls Barkley. Give me the next line. I remember when. I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. For $1,000, next line, please. There was something so pleasant about that place. That is absolutely correct. Well done. $1,000. Don't mess with a DJ. I know, right? <laughs> music, music is life, but that's a whole different subject for another time. <laughs> sure is. All right, 1000 to nothing right now. Champ, our first spin for you. Here goes Supper 10. It would help if I clicked on the damn window. Yeah. Here we go. Places, the arts, and Geek Chic. 
Places, everybody. Places. <laughs> All right. Going with places here for $500. Here comes your places question. Question, sir. In which California park is the 379-foot high tree named Hyperion, the tallest tree in the world, discovered in a remote area in 2006? Again, in which California park is the 379-foot high tree named Hyperion, the tallest tree in the world, discovered in a remote area back in 2006? For $500, what's the name of that park? Is it Sequoia National? Uh, we'll check with the judges on this one. Judges say that's the correct answer. You got it. Five hundred dollars. Very good. Let's Score on the board. Five hundred and thousand. And Kevin, be your spin. All right. Let's see some jokes. Here we go. The arts, geek chic, and sports and hobbies. Uh, of those three, I like sports and hobbies the best. So let's go with that for five hundred, please. I had a feeling after your success in the sports category yesterday. We'll see how it works. Here we continue under sports and hobbies here for five hundred dollars. Here's your question: Which Iron Chef, who asked for an easy bake oven at age five, brought his famed New York City eatery Mesa Grill to Vegas in two thousand four? Again, which Iron Chef who asked for an easy bake oven at the age of five brought his famed New York City eatery Mesa Grill to Vegas in 2004? For $500, name the Iron Chef. I know this is wrong, but I gotta give, I gotta give it a guess. Wolfgang Puck? No, I'm sorry. It's not yeah, Wolfgang Puck know. there. Uh, Chase, you can pick up 500 so. if you know it. Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay is the correct answer. You got it. Money uh -huh. goes to you. It's one of the big, one of the big name chef, uh, Iron Chefs on Iron Chef America, still airing on the Food Network now. Uh, we all tied up a thousand apiece. Jason, your spin. He goes. Places, Joker, and the Arts. Places for a G bar. Please. All right. Places for $1,000. Here comes your places question for you on this one. All right. This is a true or false question, Jason. So if you get it right, you get the money. If you're wrong, however, Kevin's going to get the money. Okay. Uh, okay. Under places, true or false. The nationality of the largest group of people living in Ireland who are not Irish is Polish. Again, the nationality of the largest group of people living in Ireland who are not Irish is Polish. For $1,000, is that true or false? I'm going to say false. No, I'm sorry. It's actually true. As really? of Yeah, as of 2010, there were over 122,000 Polish folks living in the Emerald Isles. So, Kevin, by default, you get the money. Well, true or false is a 50 50 chance, but I would never have guessed Polish. I would have yeah, guessed Scottish. You would, yeah. I, I, I would think it's their love of potatoes between the two of them that keeps Must them there. Be. <laughs> All right, it's 2,000 to 1,000 here. Kevin, you're spinning. Let's see some jokers. Here we go. Sports and hobbies. Sports and hobbies. Oh, almost got, got the natural triple. You got a geek chic. <laughs> well, I'm not going with that. And uh, while you go get your blood pressure cuff, I'm going to take sports and hobbies for 1000 All right, sports <laughs> and hobbies for $1,000 there. By the way, did not mention this at the top of the show. The natural triple jackpot currently standing at $42,500 should one of our contestants capture it on this episode. Here comes a question for you, sir. Sports and hobbies for $1,000 is this. What is the more common name for the Roland Garros tournament won by Rafael Nadal for a record-breaking ninth time in 2014? Again, what's the more common name for the Roland Garros tournament won by Rafael Nadal and a record-breaking ninth time in 2014? For $1,000, what's the more common name of that event? Oh, now we're talking tennis. Uh, Davis Cup? I don't know. No, sorry. It's not the Davis Cup. Jason, you can pick it up for 1000 if you know it. Is it the French Open? It is the French Open. You're right. $1,000 for you. <laughs> yeah, you got my weak spot there. <laughs> but U.S. Open, French Open, Wimbledon. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One and down. All tied up now. 2000 apiece. Jason, will be your spin. Okay. Here we go. Television. Joker. Places. TV for a G. 
All right, TV for $1,000. Here comes a television question for you. And what TV series is there a serial killer named Red John? Again, what TV series is there a serial killer named Red John? Multiple choice on this one. Is it A, Millennium, B, The Mentalist, or C, CSI? That would be the mentalist. And that would be a correct answer. Well done. $1,000. Yeah. All right. 3000 to 2000 score. And Kevin, your spin. Kevin needs to play some ketchup. How about some Joker? Here we go. Geek sheet. Next line, please. And sports and hobbies. Well, that don't help. Uh, I haven't been doing too well with sports and hobbies, so I'll try next line, please. All right, try next line, please. Again, for $500, here comes your question under next line, please. Uh, your artist is Green Day. Their famous song, Wake Me Up When September Ends. The line, the line is, summer has come and passed. For $500, next line, please. Summer is coming past. The innocent can never last. Wake me up when, when you get the... it right. Well, we could, but I'm like, but I only got like a 40 minute show here, so we, we, ma go. maybe maybe <laughs> afterwards we'll see. But you got it though, 2,500 for you. And Jason, back to you. Geekshi places and a joker. Places for a G. Places for a thousand dollars. Here comes another places question for you. All right, Jason, what flat state is famous for not only its Huskers football team, but also for Carnage, a Stonehenge look-alike made from vintage cards? For a thousand dollars, name the state. I hope that would be Nebraska. It is Nebraska. You're absolutely right. $1,000. Yeah, believe it or not, the landmark was built back in 1987. Went up for sale for over $300,000 in 2011. The more you know. Exactly. I like throwing yep. in fun facts like that every now and then. <laughs> All right, 4000 to 2500 Kevin, playing from behind here. Your spin. I've done it before. I can try and do it again. Let's go. Here we go. Joker, the arts, and a joker. Um, I, my back's against the wall. I got to go to the arts for 2000 All right. Get this question correct under the arts. You'll jump to $4,500 and take the lead again. However, miss it, and Jason picks it up. It'll give him $6,000, enough to win the game and remain as our champion. Here comes your question under... Under the arts, sir. What iconic 79-year-old news magazine, headlined by the legendary Tina Brown of Vanity Fair fame, went all digital in 2013? I repeat, what iconic 79-year-old news magazine, headed by the legendary Tina Brown of Vanity Fair fame, went all digital in 2013? For $2,000, and to take the lead again, name the, name the, artic, uh, name the news magazine. Oh, I don't know. I have to. Uh, I had to forfeit it. I don't know. Okay, pass. All right, Jason. If you can give me the correct answer on this one, you will give you six thousand, and you'll stay as champion. Repeat the question. Sure. One more time. What iconic seventy-nine-year-old news magazine, headed by the legendary Tina Brown of Vanity Fair fame, went all digital in two thousand thirteen? Times like this, I wish I started reading magazines. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, no good. Well, it was a tough one on that one. The correct answer there was actually Newsweek. Newsweek. Never would have gotten that. Yeah, I, I don't really read magazines. So. <laughs> Not since TV do, do any of us really do, to be honest? Some do. I'm just saying. Some people like to get Not their really. forms. So. I'll glance at them when I'm checking out at stores, but other than that, no. Nah. Fair enough. All right, so <laughs> scores change, stay the same, 4,000 to 2,500. Jason, be your spin. So it's just mainly looking at the National Enquirer to see what stupid shit they have on head this time. <laughs> Here we go. Joker, geek sheet, and a joker. I was about to lose my shit if that was three jokers again. I was... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm going to go off the board and go with TV. All right, TV for 1000 All right. If you get this question correct under TV, sir, that will give you $5,000, enough to win the game. All right, here is your question. 
All right, in this in the series House, what is Dr. Remy Hadley's nickname? Again, this TV series House, what is Dr. Remy Hadley's nickname? Is it A, Speedy, B, 13, or C, Triple A? 13. 13 is the correct answer. You're still champion. <laughs> Good game all around. Good. Squeeze it some more. First off, you're giving me too much credit for that strength. <laughs> I need to go see a chiropractor. I think you just did, actually. <laughs> well, congratulations, Jason. Another 5000 for you. And you're still our grand champion here. You're playing against Lucy here again in just a minute. Kevin, you've had a very good run here. Unfortunately, like I said, just tough questions to, on today's game. But you, you're not leaving us here empty-handed. You take with us, in all cash, $24,000. And our thanks for playing. Hey, you know how much I love it, man. Well, hopefully we'll have you back sometime later on this season, hopefully. See you again. But for the meantime and between time, Jason, you've racked up another five grand to add to your winnings. Brings you now up to $108,636. We're going to see if he can add some more to it as he takes on Lucy in the bonus round. We'll do that as we have more Jokers Wild on the way next. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Joker's Wild. Jason has managed to win his seventh game. Over $108,000 now in cash and prizes. And he's ready to take on the Devils. So come on over, Jason. Hey. Come on. It's going to be a little while for me to get there. I'm a little bit of pain. <laughs> Working my ass earlier. I hear you. Well, congratulations, team. Your seventh win now, go over $108,000. Here's your chance to hopefully maybe add a lot more to your winnings there. The prize board's already been brought down here. It's got some great stuff on there. Go ahead and give it a spin. Let's see what you'll be playing for. Come on, Jason. Very nice. A great prize what? package there. Includes the lesson graphic, Ocean Escape, a uh, trip to Montego Bay, and a trip to Vail, Colorado for a total prize package of $15,039 that can be yours, but only if you can beat the devil. Really, you see what you need is evil to talk. Block me from a cheap uh, bundle, Woody. Well, oh, it's, still, no. it's still two great trips and a, a nice uh, painting for your home. So we'll see if you can take it home. But all you gotta do now is get to ten thousand dollars, or spend a natural triple of any of any amount up there in order to win. If you could do that, you'll get the prize package plus your cash and your jackpot. Now, along the way, there are jokers up there. You know them quite well. Every joker you spend is worth $1,000 in cash for you. But you spend three jokers on any of your spins, you win the joker's jackpot, which currently stands at $145,000. If you can do it in one of your first two spins, we'll double that money to $290,000. So... Even with your smaller prize package here, if you manage to give me three jokers on one of your first two spins, you're still walking away with over $300,000 in cash and prizes from this bonus round, sir. So you ready? I hope so. All right. Well, best of luck to you. Uh, when you are ready, let's see if you can beat the devil. Good luck. First spin up, Joker, 2000. Really? Seriously, this is ridiculous. Not one person. Yes, I am that big. I'm a dick. At least you got a Joker. This that that's sad, my friend. I like. I swear, Lucy's just not even playing fair at this point with you. I know. But, no mercy from that. Uh, no mercy from that. Fool. It's a cheap old bundle, Lucy. Who cares? <laughs> well, God. dang it. Well, good Just news is though, at least the Joker, the Joker showed up on the first reel. So you're gonna at least pick up another thousand dollars for cash. Add it to what you've won. You're now up to one hundred and nine thousand six hundred thirty-six dollars, and we're gonna see if we can't retune these bonus reels somehow. Find a way to get rid of Lucy. We'll take another commercial break. Give, give Jason a moment to kind of collect himself. 
He'll play another game. We have more trivia on the way right after this here on the Joker's Wild. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Joker's Wild here. Jason, unfortunately, running smack head first into Lucy once again. I'm going to need psychological counseling after this. It is, it's possible. We'll see. But we're he's ready to take on another opponent here. Let's see who it's going to be. Our next opponent comes to us, by the way, the great state of Oregon. Meet Travis Coulter. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome in, Travis. How are we doing? Doing good. And yourself today? I'm doing quite well. Uh, back on the show with us again. I remind the good folks in YouTube land a little bit more about yourself. All right, coming to you from the capital city, Salem, Oregon, uh, right now working in uh, food service as a deli clerk uh, at a big uh, chain food store. I like to play video games, um, play game shows, and uh, my favorite game on the side is usually City Skyline. I see. So we have the deli clerk versus the butcher here. This this <laughs> one's going goodness. straight to the meat department on this one. <laughs> I like, things, maybe. I like it. We'll see what happens here. Good luck to both of you. And let's take a look at the categories you guys are going to be using in this game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. We have entertainment, events, science and technology, video games, movies, and finally we finish with next line, please. All right, let's unlock the reels for our players here. And Travis, as the challenger, you will have the right to spin first. So whenever you're ready, good luck to you. All right. Here we go. First spin up, Joker. Next slide, please. And a Joker. I'll go off the board with video games for 1000 Okay, going off the board using the video games for $1,000. Here comes your first question in this game of the Joker's Wild. Travis, in what video game... Is a toilet used as your saving point? Again, what game is a toilet used as your saving point? Is it A, No More Heroes, B, Mad World, C, Killer 7, or D, Jet Set Radio? Never played any of those. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with B. Mad World? Yes. As incorrect. Jason, you can pick up a thousand here if you know it. Uh, is it Jet Set Radio? No, I'm sorry. It's not Jet Set Radio. Correct answer there actually is a great game. It's called No More Heroes. No More Heroes. It's a fun little like hack and slash game that you work your way through this amazing storyline. If you ever guys get a chance to play it, definitely one I recommend. All right, but no score on that first question there. Jason, be your spin. No more heroes. Wonder where they went. That away. <laughs> Here we go. Next slide, please. Science and technology and a pair. Uh, science and technology. All right, going to science and technology for $1,000. Here comes your question under science and technology, sir. Aside from true black, what is the only true color not naturally found in orchids? Again, aside from true black, what is the only true color not naturally found in orchids? Is it red, blue, or green? Green. No, I'm sorry. It's not green. $1,000 for you, Travis, if you know it. I'll go with true blue. True blue is the correct answer. Here you go. $1,000. Yes, the blue. Blue, the orchids that you find in store that are blue, they're actually white ones that have been uh, stained with a blue dye. So keep that in fact when you're orchid hunting this spring once you plant your flower beds. Uh, Travis in the lead with $1,000 and your spin. All right. Come on. Let's go. We have Science and Technology, Joker, and Movies. Science and technology for a thousand. All right, going going in. Science and technology for a thousand dollars. Here comes your next science and te 
technology question, sir. What creatures were irrefutably linked as descendants of the dinosaurs when amino acids were extracted from a T-Rex bone in 2005? Again, what creatures were irrefutably linked as descendants of the dinosaurs when amino acids were extracted from a T-Rex bone in 2005? For $1,000, what kind of creatures were they? Hmm. Uh, T-Rex, something that looks like it. I'm going to go with a kangaroo. Logical guess, but not what we're looking for here. Jason, you can oh. pick up a thousand if you know it. Yeah, I got nothing. No guess there? Well, believe it or not, it's actually birds. Birds is what it is. The DNA material that resembled that of the DNA that was pulled from the T Rex bone was actually the uh, modern day equivalent of a chicken, believe it or not. Wow, okay. So that that proves the long life fact. That had you had the uh, the dinosaur meat that Fred Flintstone and all of them were eating during the Flintstones actually did taste like chicken. <laughs> anyway, thousand to nothing there, and Jason, your spin. Here we go. Video games. Video games. Entertainment. Damn. <laughs> They playing. I know. Video games for a thousand. All right, video games for one thousand. Here's your question there. Which of these sports can you not practice in the game Wii Sports? Again, which of these sports can you not practice in the game of Wii Sports? Is it A baseball, B boxing, C golf, or D ping pong? Ping pong. Ping pong is the correct answer. We're all tied up. There we go. Thousand apiece there. And now, Travis, your spin. They all seem logical. I probably would have got <laughs> There we go. Science and technology, entertainment, and a pair. Boy. Um, close. I'll try it again. Entertainment for a thousand. Entertainment once again for a thousand dollars. Here comes your entertainment question here, sir. Which rapper was nicknamed by his mom who thought he looked like the beagle of that round-headed kid, Charlie Brown? Again, which rapper was nicknamed by his mom who thought he looked like the beagle of that round-headed kid, Charlie Brown? For $1,000, name the rapper. <laughs> oh, I turn in my card after this. Um, uh, beagle, beagle, beagle. Uh... Oh, yeah, Post Malone, shoot. No, I'm sorry, it's not Post Malone. Jason, you can pick up a thousand if you know it. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is the correct answer. Thousand dollars for you. Done. It's two thousand to one thousand. Jason's in the lead now. Your spin. Here we go. Movies, Joker, Science and Technology. Movies for a G. All right, trying our luck with movies here for $1,000. Here comes your movies question here. All right, Jason, what's the title of the third film of the Pirates of the Caribbean series? Again, what's the title of the third film in the Pirates of the Car Caribbean series? Is it On Stranger Tides, The Curse of the Black Pearl, Dead Man's Chest, or At World's End? At World's End. And that is a correct answer. Another $1,000 for you. All right, 3,000 to 1,000, and Travis, your spin. Here we go. Joker, entertainment, and events. What was the last one? Joker, events. entertainment, and events. Oh, events, okay. Um, entertainment for 1,000. Okay, continuing on. And another entertainment question for $1,000. Here comes your... Here comes your question here, sir. What pop singer and dancer won the 2004 Best Male Video and Best Dance Video Awards for his song, Yeah? For $1,000, name him. Oh, jeez. Um, pop singer, though. Um, he's an actor. Dang it. Five seconds. Channing Tatum. No, I'm sorry. It's not Channing Tatum. Jason, pick up another thousand if you know it. Usher. 
Usher is the correct answer. Thousand dollars for you. That's two points. <laughs> There you go. 4,000 to 1,000. Jason could maybe win it on this spin. We'll see what happens. There you go. Movies, entertainment, video games. Uh, the jinx is strong in this game. Also. <laughs> uh, <laughs> video games. All right. Try his luck with video games for $500. Here comes a video game question for you, sir. All right, which of these characters is not playable in the game Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Wii? Again, which of these characters is not a playable in the game Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Wii? Was it A, Diddy Kong, B, Jigglypuff, C, Solid Snake, or D, Mega Man? Let's see, Brawl, I want to say Diddy Kong. No, I'm sorry, it's not Diddy Kong. Travis, you can pick up 500 if you know it. I feel like that one is Solid Snake. No, Snow Solid Snake was in the game as well. The correct answer there was actually Mega Man. You could not play oh. as Mega Man on on the Wii version of Smash Brothers there. So as, as someone who owns that version, I know it darn well. Can't give that one to either one of y'all. So four thousand to one thousand is still the score. And back to Travis for your spin. All right, go ahead and spin. There you go. Science and technology, Joker, and entertainment. Um, this rate right, anyway. Uh, off the board, I'll go video for five hundred. All right, trying this luck again. Video games for five hundred dollars. Here's your question here. All right, what is the name of Dante's brother in the Devil May Cry series? Again, what's the name of Dante's brother in the in the Devil May Cry series? Is it A. Vice, B. Virgil, or C. Victor? I'm going to go with Virgil. And that is the correct answer. You got 500. <laughs> hey, he played it. <laughs> there you go. Good job. <laughs> Up to 1,500 now. And, Chase, we're back to you. Here we go. Science and technology. Science and technology. Entertainment. Come on. The troll is strong in this game. Seriously. Science and technology. All right. If you get this question correct, it'll put you at $5,000, enough to win the game. Miss it, and Travis stays alive and can steal. Here is your question under science and technology. All right. Which Titanic star brought home a 38-pound tortoise from the North American Reptile Breeders Conference trade show in 2010? Again, which Titanic star brought home a 38-pound tortoise from the North American Reptile Breeders Conference and trade show in 2010? For $1,000 and to win your eighth game, name the actor. Leonardo DiCaprio. And that is the correct answer. You've won your eighth game. Well done. <laughs> Yeah, there's a few of them that it could have been in that one, but Leonardo DiCaprio has a very large tortoise, and you've got yourself a very large winning streak right now with your eighth game one there. Another 5,000 going in your bank, and you get to play against Lucy here in just a minute. Travis, did you have a good time with us, sir? Of course. Yeah, well, I should, wish I could have given you more money here on this one, but there were some tough questions in this one. But we're walking away here with $1,500 in your pocket, along with some nice parting gifts, and our thanks for playing. Thanks for having me. All right, well done there. And for you, Jason, that is eight wins now, and we are got you up to a grand total of $114,636. We're going to see if Jason can break this losing streak he's been on and beat that devil when he plays against the bonus round. Coming up right after the break. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Joker's Wild. Almost out of time for today's episode, but we're going to get this bonus round in really quickly here. We've got the prize board already loaded up for you, Jason. So when you're ready, go ahead and give it a spin. Here we go. A trip to Boston, a Joker, and a dining room group and dinnerware gives you a prize package of $22,413, and you get a bonus spin. All that pink. Joker, 
Kitchen ma appliances maid service along with an oak bar set. Gives you a prize package now of over $40,000 with the right to play for a brand new car. Three cars up there. Which one would you like? It's been a minute. Take solace in my tree. And should you beat the devil, you'll be driving away in a brand new Dodge Neon SXT worth sixteen thousand two hundred fifteen dollars, making your total prize package fifty six thousand three hundred thirty two dollars. That can be yours, but only if you can beat the devil. All right, Jason, if you again, uh, the Joker's jackpot now for this bonus game is $150,000. So if you spend three Jokers, one of your first two spins, that is $300,000. No pressure. <laughs> None at all. I suggest you find whatever lucky charm is going to work against you, and let's see if you can beat the devil. Good luck. I would put the suit back shit. on, but Lucy's been showing up with the suit, so... Uh, there we go. Joker, 500, 2,000. On the board, you've got $2,500, 1,000 in your bank. What do you want to do? Reluctantly, he goes on. All right. <laughs> Before that light turns red, um, I got my foot on the gas. I'm hauling ass. Here we go. 2,000. No! Oh, oh, serious! Oh, oh, my goodness, sir. I Next thing you know, I pop your tires. <laughs> this, is, this, is just, this is just not fair at this point. My goodness. This is not a set. Uh, well, Jason, it was well this. I might as well just stay over at my podium over there and not even try to turn this round next episode. Like I said, when in doubt, if you oh, always have a God. fear of the devil, you can always stop and take the money. Unfortunately, you didn't this time, but you did get another Joker, so that is another thousand dollars. Will add to your winnings, brings you now up to for eight games a grand total of one hundred fifteen thousand six hundred and thirty-six dollars. Congratulations to you. Oh, I know. We, we, we're we're going to have to find something to turn Jason's luck around here in this bonus game, but that we'll have to wait until next time, folks, because we're all out of time for this episode. We thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and want to see other great game shows of the past, present, and future, click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And until the reels come spinning our way once again and we try to give another contestant a chance to win lots of cash or prizes. I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time right here for another new episode of The Joker's Wild. Take care. Bye for now, folks. This is your announcer, Sunny Boy, speaking for the Joker's Wild, a Barry and Enright production in association with MVG Productions.